Welcome to our Devos this week where we have been tackling the subject of the early life of Jesus. You never studied it because there isn't a lot written about it. But there's some really interesting things that we can pull to help us to live better and look at the model of how Jesus lives so we can glean some wisdom from that. Now, there's another passage of scripture that happens right after Jesus is left at the temple by his parents accidentally. He teaches a, a group of people People and he's interacting with them, asking questions, and they were amazed at him. But then there's a passage that transitions us to the latter and remaining part of what we know of his childhood and early adolescence and early adult life. It says in Luke chapter 2, verse 51, it says, and he, this is Jesus, went down with them, that's his parents, and he came to Nazareth and was submissive to them. And his mother treasured up all these things in her heart. Now, it says he went to Nazareth with them, he was submissive to them, and he submitted to his parents. What's interesting about this, okay, there's a couple things. A lot of Bible scholars believe that Luke included this because previously it's almost like Jesus ran away from his parents to go and teach at the temple when really that wasn't exactly the case. His parents kind of misplaced him. There wasn't any sin on Jesus's part there, but Luke makes it a point to say that he was submissive to them. So Jesus as a baby didn't come home after a day with his parents. He's like, guys, I'm in charge. I'm running the show. And a lot of times we kind of have like an erroneous knowledge of that. But in all reality of what we see here, Jesus submitted to his earthly parents with respect and regard, just like we are called to submit to our earthly parents. So the principle I want to pull from this is this, honor your parents. Honor your parents. Now, when I say honor your parents, okay, this is, uh, this is a, a weird one. Um, some of you, your homes that you grew up in are not like Jesus's home where he has a loving, godly set of parents. But some of you, you have parents that maybe they don't believe in Jesus. Some of you, you have parents that are abusive. Some of you, you have parents that have kind of cut you off. And maybe you don't even know who your parents are. I, but there's people in the church like that, that more than you would think that didn't ever meet their parents or, you know, they struggle with knowing who their birth parents were or whatever. Lots of situations like that that we've come across over the years. But here we must do something. We have to honor our parents in the way that we can. What does honor mean? Well, honor means simply this. You have to respect them, okay? And how do you respect someone? Well, you don't be abused by someone that's abusing you. So if you have a toxic parent that's hurting you, that's abusing you, there's a way that you can honor them by putting boundaries out there. Um, There's a good book on this called Boundaries. Uh, It's like one of the, I think it's like the top 20, one of the top 20 Christian books ever written. And it's all about this idea of dealing with people in a way that you're loving, but you set boundaries out of love. Because a lot of people are like, well, when you set boundaries, that means you don't love them. No, that means that you love them so much that you're trying to remain established in the relationship without having the toxicity. Okay, so that's helpful. Honoring means that you are caring of them. Honoring does not mean that you enable bad behavior. Honoring does not mean that you take abuse or don't set boundaries. So my encouragement is, if the son of God can honor his parents, can submit to his parents, how much more should we ought to do the same? How much more should we look at our parents as an opportunity for us to glorify God? no matter what the situation is. Even if the situation is damaging, I want you to be thinking about Christ. I want you to be thinking about how he forgave those that crucified him. And I want you to think about what can I do to exercise, not to benefit them, no, no, no. What can I do to exercise what I know of who Jesus is? Think of it this way. What can I do to exercise of who I know Jesus is? How can I exercise that in even toxic relationships? If you go to the Lord, if you seek the Father in prayer and ask him, open, open your heart and ask him how to do this, God will reveal to you how to do this through his word and through respecting people in different ways. I'm not going to get into specifics, but I want you to think about a way to honor your parents, just like Jesus did, just like he models for us to do.